It should be in your paperwork over there. No, I don't have a number for that. Your cheat sheet out. I don't have a number for that. 655. Five. What do you got? Yeah, I don't have a number for that. What do you mean you have a number for the ID? I don't, I don't have a number. We didn't do an ID yet? No. No, we need an ID number. I don't have, I don't have numbers for that. Where's your paperwork? Right here. On the camera. Where's your paperwork? We need a number. Uh, I don't have a pen. I don't yeah. have a writing utensil. No writing utensil? Yeah, I don't have a writing what utensil. What you write that way? Uh, the pen that I had yesterday. Oh. Today is a new day. Oh, that, was, that was your pen. Yeah, that was my pen. Oh, that was your pen. Okay, we're at 652. 1652. 654. Six, 652 on a nut that way. Where's the other crank? I need to get on an average number. I don't want this to fit over every crank. <clears throat> Not just yours over there. 652. So, what? 653? number. 653? No, I want a little more clearance than one, though. I'm going to be able to put this thing on and off. Crank right there. Huh? Crank right there. What crank? That one right there. That evil crank? Yeah. What am I going to do? Actually, it's a shovel head crank. That's what you're going to use this tool for, correct? What the tool you got? Why did I do that? So what is it? Well, I'd be using a uh, press fit crank to do a Harley crank. That's the point of it, right? Oh, okay, so then we got 1.652. 1.652. 1.652. Okay. So we wanna, we'll go up from that number. Okay, and that will be one one hundred deep. Then we got another hundred and <coughs> probably another hundred and fifty more of that. Mm. At least 150 more. Depth past that. So put another 150 more depth past that. And that one we're going to have to go up the big size radius shoulder. That's going to be up over in 1935. Which is probably bigger than that. Mm -hmm. thing is here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be bigger than that. Okay, so what's the thickness? What are you looking at my arm for? What's our dimension here? 737. Mm -hmm. What was the other number we had? 652? Mm -hmm. 652. 737 is our max OD. So what's the wall thickness? Uh, about 40. Give or take. Yep. So now you know about how thick it's going to be when we're done. Not very. About 40. What's our total depth? One and a quarter, according to what you just said, right? I don't know what the number they gave you. You said one one hundred plus another hundred and fifty thou, which is one and a quarter. How do you get one and a quarter of that? You said one one hundred plus a hundred and fifty is two fifty. It's two fifty. So, Plus one? Yeah. 1.250? Yeah. Which is how much? An inch and a quarter. Yeah, you're pretty smart. Why is a quarter called a quarter? Because it ain't two bits. Who determined that 25 was a quarter of something? It's not, it's two bits. So. Quarter's two bits. You know where that came from? Mm mm. English. Probably would cost to get a shot of fucking whiskey back in the day. Or rum or something. Probably rum. Whiskey was American. Rum is the world. Get to go back in golden times to know what all that is, though. Golden times? Golden times. Or at least olden times. It depends if you think it's golden times back in the, back in the 17s, 1800s. Some people probably do. We 
know how much inch and a quarter. Yeah. Do you know holding a bid pass that makes no difference because it's undercut? What? Yeah. Yeah, it's undercut right there. It doesn't make much difference. Mm. Okay, is that close? I guess. Don't forget, you got to turn this to this. It's going to be boring. So that means we got to come back on it. See, the clearance goes the other way. It has to come back to one. Mm -hmm. I don't put on zero because if it's on one, I know it's the other way. If it's on zero both ways, I wouldn't know which way it is. Mm -hmm. So when you're cutting, it would slide. Mm -hmm. Fucking screwed up the numbers. You got clearance in your teeth back there, so depending on which side of the tooth you're on, determines which way this thing goes. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we centered? I don't know. Why not? You got eyeballs. <clears throat> Does it look centered to you? No, it looks high. It looks high. Okay. It's high. So if we go lower. So that looks way too low. That looks way just, too low. Just from what you just did. I'll go like that then in between. I guess. Okay. Just taking a mild assumption here. Mild assumption. Now, if the bit drags on the bottom, that's too low. Yeah, I would assume so. So the smaller the hole is, the more you got to raise the bit above center to keep from dragging on the bottom. Well, that's a big hole. And as you make the hole bigger, you can bring it back down to where it's supposed to be on center because you have to get the clearance on the back side. So you have to make it off center. So when you have a three-quarter bit going to an 800 hole, it's, it's going to be way up off center because mm -hmm. it have to be. That's how it was last night. Okay, so it looks like we got clearance in there. Now, just because you're over there doesn't mean you can't go over here. Check your top. Check your drop. Do this you took it over there. The old tangent drop test. Boom. See how it looks pretty close? So we're good. Good enough. Now, next thing is when you go in, you got to make sure it doesn't hit on anything as you go in. So you got to make sure you got clearances. So do you have more than it? See how we've got clearance? Yeah, do you have more than an inch and a quarter worth of uh, tool sticking out? I got a lot more than an inch and a quarter. Sure. Yeah. How do you know that? Because I know an inch and a quarter is more. It's less than what that is. I'm going to guess that's probably at least two inches sticking out. Probably about, right about two hundred, maybe one nine fifty. What do we got? That was wrong. We're at three quarter. Yep, yeah, wrong again. Sixteenth above that. What's a sixteenth above three quarter? Mm -hmm. Eight, thirteen sixteenths. So one and thirteen sixteen sticking out, or one point eight. So, so you're you. So my eyeballs are out of calibration. So you about inch. about. I'm about an eighth inch out of calibration. My eyeballs today, like I'm still half asleep. Someone woke me up early. Okay, so we gonna go in there. How far? An uh, inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter. About how much is an inch and a quarter? An inch and a quarter. That's gonna be roughly about there. So when you see about a half inch hanging in over here, see that's a half inch. See, it's going to be a little over half inch of bar stuff sticking out. So your eyeballs are about a half inch off. <clears throat> so that means when you go in like that, you'll have a little clearance. That feels like I'm cutting right now when I just shoved it in like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, which direction are you going to turn? Forward or backwards? This way. This we're going that way? No. Well, now if you want to cut on the other side of the hole, you can turn it backwards. You're going to cut on this side, you cut it forward. All right, that's what I said. Short. Uh -huh. yeah. wall. Good. Good, good. That's perfect. I overshot it by. No, I didn't. I didn't overshoot. I was undershot it. No, I'm just under. Yeah, <coughs> about just 20. Mm -hmm. About 20 to the good. 
good thing I stopped for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I actually want to know what you are, you go like this. This is going away. There you go. I never can work these things backwards. Everything's upside down. It says I'm not in that order, but I don't know about that. Yeah, you're about nine thou over. Uh, nine and a half thou over. <laughs> I overshot it. Good thing I stopped where I did. Right. It's a good thing it's a clearance cut, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> as long as you got metal over here, that's the problem. I don't think we have an inch of quarter over here. So we don't have an inch of quarter of material to work with. Taper the hole. Yeah, we got to pull that back a little bit. We got some cross section here, and it's gonna fall off. So we're gonna pull that back <coughs> quite a bit. We need some kind of material in between. Mm -hmm. Something. That don't be a lot. We could have something. We could have more than zero. Well, obviously there's a design issue. I've had that problem with valve collars. The collars fall off if I ever feel. What are you going to do? Stop at an inch? cross-sectional diameter here than in that bar, but this one doesn't chatter that one does. For whatever reason. Okay, where are we at now? Where are you at? 362, whatever we want. 
six five four. Three. Three. We're at three. We're three hundred off. Is that why the hole's still so small? Yeah. Just a little bit. Here we come. One, two, three, four. Forty dollar wall. Oh, the ship looks like crap this time. It's not making a good crew of trees anymore. Now it's making a water up and up. Looks like there's a big ass hole in there now. That there is. What size do we want again? 525? What? Hey, don't hit that edge. Nah, you need 653. What are you at right now? I just dropped that thing around top of that pit. You did, huh? Yeah, we hit right here. Drop. Mm. That's how you chip those expensive glass cutters. That's why I haven't got too many cutters over here in the way. I don't know, my, I don't know, my, my, my <laughs> caliper has a warranty on it. I don't it. like this one. So. I like using my expensive stuff. <laughs> my caliper has a warranty, so it whenever does. I complain, I just go and get a new one. When you get twenty nine ninety five for caliper, so you get warranty? Yeah, whoever, where'd you buy that caliper from? Uh, probably on eBay. Oh, that's why you don't have a warranty. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's why you don't have a warranty. Okay, that's because when you buy it from them, they give you, it has a lifetime warranty on it. Oh. And technically, if you bought it from someone, you should have taken it to the company that they bought it from and that they bought it from and got a warranty. I read all the paperwork for those. Spend them that much amount of money on tools. Well, that wasn't that expensive. Mm -hmm. 545. What do you want? You need 653. 653? Yeah, you need 653. 653 out of that. You tell me, you got that big ass chamfer on there. 650. Two. I thought it was getting close. We're not 500, we're 600. Yeah. You got a ways to go to get to 600. Yeah, what's throwing your eyeballs off is that big chamfer there. Yeah, it must be. I'm gonna give it, a, give it some more material now. I told you I can't believe it cut off. Mm -hmm. I knew this wall was going to be super thin. Pretty well. I knew it. You knew it? Mm hmm. You're smart. Good morning. 
there's a whole lot of material between the two. Here's down here's my 15 wall. Okay, so now we're when you hit the bottom. Oh, is that what it was? Mm -hmm. The bottom keeps changing, though. That's because you keep hitting it. Um, that's because it's tapered. Like this. It's going to be negative positive. That's it right there. It is. You want different. You want clearance. clearance is the last thing you should be worried about right now. That breaking, cracking, that's what you should be worried about. That weak ass piece of aluminum. Oh, it's just pouring it down material right now. It's nice and thick. Uh huh. We're at 53 right now. I want some clearance on that. Now that's that is good. clearance. 53 is clearance. Is that a press fit or not? I don't know. Yeah, that's press fit. That's the press fit bit? Yeah, that's press fit. That's the press fit side. Do we actually have a press fit? It's 36, it's undersized. You turn it down too small, it's working. Mm -hmm. Sand it. Did you make this one too small? Yep. It's a thou under. Yeah, so there's no press. That's less than a press. It'd be like clearance. Okay, so we're going to need a little clearance. We're going to need two thou. Yeah, it was a big two thou. It was a big two thou. It was four thou. It's four thou. So it's too much, what you're saying. Well, there you go. There's your chamfer. A chamfer? Mm hmm. Too low. 74. Because you got no oil. No chip load. I have oil. No chip load. So then just like this, it's going to hit. I want to do that. Fifty-four. That's perfect. Perfect. We got a big shatter. Okay, how deep is that? Should be an inch and a quarter deep. Or wait, you backed it up. So it should be somewhere around an inch. About 50. Inch 50? That's where we're at. Right 
different about there. Yeah. Deeper. No. <clears throat> yep. You said you don't. You only have an eighth of an inch there. Oh my gosh, somewhere. Huh? Got a little bit of room. <clears throat> so here's one trick you can do. You go like this. An inch and a quarter. Maybe zero. Sixty thousand. I know. Not sure. We'll find out. We're one sixty right now. So forty thousand. So we can go deeper yet. Yeah. I'm all the way down to fifty thousand. Okay. We gotta be careful on top of here. Thank you. 
can do it. Anything over hole 50 doesn't matter. And we're at hole 50. So we're fine. We're going to bottom out. I'll get just a little chaffer on the inside of that hole. And hold it. I need to cut them all. That that <clears throat> that thinness is what we have to press up against too. There you go. See, there you go, guys. Fancy uh, aluminum. the shoulder right here. It's in the back in here anyway. It's fine. We're in all this relieved area. Mm-hmm. Which is perfect. Now how's it gonna go in this one though? That's what matters. It's gonna go all the way in. Gonna, it is. It's gonna do what it's supposed to do. How far is it supposed to go? All the way. All the way. All the way until it quits? Yeah. Yeah half a towel. Was in half a thou. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's five thou. That's less than five thou. Like that. Up. So this is gonna bottom out. So that'll go flush with this. It'll be fine. Go down like that. Mm-hmm. For your zero, your cutter. See how it goes back to zero. Mm-hmm. Just turn on and off. Fancy tool. You might want to wipe it off. I was thinking about doing that. I gotta hide it back here so you don't find it. Otherwise, you're going to take it from me and use it. I don't have to take anything from you, Tetra. Happily. Okay. Now that we're doing this, we're going to put this on the bottom. Press it in. 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 That one right there. Rub your finger in there. That's a chamfer. Ooh, that's sharp. That's a chamfer. Yeah, dig your finger back farther. See? Wait, sharp I edge. I can't get that edge. That's sharp. I can't do anything about that edge. All right. Okay. So what do we do? Take it to the press? We're gonna oh, the press we're going to take a break. We're going to clean this up. We'll be back.